Hello everybody, in this video we're going to make a getting to know you program with functions. Alright, let's get going. So in this program, the computer will ask you for a name, and then it'll do an introduction of yourself with a name. Then it will ask you for three numbers, and then it will tell you that these are your three favorite numbers. And all of this happens behind the scenes with functions and parameters. This part's the same as always, link is in the description below to this starter code. Here's the video link, here's the program run, here's the name of the file that you're going to copy and add into your replet. You're going to show hidden files, edit the replet file, edit the entry point, put the name of your file in there. When you do it correctly, the name of your file pops to the top. But just in case, write some test code, run that test code, and when you see that test code running, you know that replet is set up correctly. So now to get the instructions, I'll go back to my original code, select it all, copy it all, paste it into my new code, and now I'm ready to go. So here are the instructions for my lab. I'm going to slide this window so I can see the code better. These are the instructions right here, which is to create a function introduction that prints out an introduction. So I'll do that right now. Remember that a function is def function parentheses colon. So I'll write that out. Next, I see I have one parameter. So that means one thing inside the parentheses. Then we go to step two, which says the function prints out hello, my name is my name, where my name is the parameter. So now I'll write the code using f strings. It's a very short code, just one line print and then the f, hello my name is, and then inside the squiggly brackets, p underscore name. So now I go on to the next step, which is in the main part of the code, ask the user for the name. And if you remember, the way I ask a question, it's variable equals to input, parentheses, and the questions inside the parentheses. So I'll pick a good variable name, I'll call it name, name equals to input, give me your name. Now if you remember how to call a function, it's function parentheses and the arguments inside the parentheses. So introduction parentheses name. And when I try the code, I type in Selena, it works. Hello, my name is Selena. If I want to autograde it, I can. I'll zoom to the process right now. When I do, I score 29 out of 50, so we're on our way. All right, so now let's try the other part of the lab, which is to create a function favorite numbers that prints out somebody's favorite three numbers. So once again, that means def, function, parentheses, and the colon. This time, the instructions say that there are three parameters, which means I need three things inside my parentheses. With that being said, I'm actually going to do it wrong on purpose. I'm just going to do two parameters just so I don't give away the entire solution. The function is going to use these parameters to print out my favorite numbers. And I should not use an input inside the function. So I'm going to write that code right now. I'll use an f string to write the code. And inside the curly brackets are going to be my parameters, p number 1 and p number 2. So to test this function, I need to call it. Remember, call a function with function, parentheses, and the arguments. So I have favorite numbers, parentheses. And then I need the arguments. I need to match the number of arguments. So I have two parameters, which means two arguments. So now in the main part of the code, I need to ask for numbers that I'm going to pass in as arguments. So I'll write that code right now. Remember, variable equals to input parentheses and the question inside. I'll call the function favorite numbers with number one and number two as arguments. But wait, there's a trick. The numbers that are going into the function are integers. So be sure to read the directions. So I need to make the function work as it's supposed to work, which means the numbers are integers, which means I need to cast. Remember, anything coming out of input is a string, so number one and number two are strings until you cast them to integers. This is going to have some side effects that are going to be obvious, not if I use f strings, but if I use concatenation. So I'm going to rewrite this here with concatenation instead, this print. And if I do this and I run it, it's going to give me an error, and the error is cannot concatenate string to an int. So I can only concatenate strings to strings. What's going on? It's because favorite numbers is a string, but p number one is an int. So to fix this, I would need to cast p number one temporarily to a string and p number two temporarily to a string. Again, this is showing the importance of reading the directions. If you work for a company and they tell you to make this function, they're going to give you a spec. The function's got this name. The parameters are going to be of a certain type, and your code needs to account for that. So once again, I wrote this function with just two parameters because I didn't want to give away the entire solution, but I know you can figure out how to do it for three. The last thing I'm going to do is organize my code. So I'm going to get rid of all these comments. And all Python code follows this organization. Imports go first, functions go second, and the main code goes third. This right here is bad because it's hard to see this code. It's hard to see the code that's between the functions. Again, the import to the top, the functions are all grouped together next, and then the main part of the code. And when I do this, it's easier to debug my code. My eye will go right away to the imports at the top, or it'll go to the functions, or it'll go to the bottom. 
but I know where everything is right away without even thinking about it. So again, be sure to organize your code. Alright, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.